done something for me. And every one of us in here, we ain't been saved all our lives. You've been running. You've been dipping and creeping and dying. You done done some things, but God has brought you to a place where he has cleaned you up. He has fixed you up. Set your feet on straight street. Now, I'm not saying that you're perfect. But that's what we're striving to be. I don't know about you, but I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like the man that laid his life down for me. And I say, I sit up and I say, well, I'm not, man, you know what? I'm not trying to pump these people up. I'm not trying to prime them up. They used to tell me about, I don't know nothing about that because I can go to my water, my sink, and just turn the faucet on. But they tell me back in the day, they used to have to pump and prime. And you got to, my thing is this. They say that you have to put a little water in to get it started. Well, to me, if you are saved, if you are filled with the Holy Ghost, that water should have been in you when you walked through the door. So it's not up to me to pump you up. It ain't up to Reverend McCoy to preach himself after death. About to have a heart attack behind the pulpit. Can't get an amen. It's not his job. What you should have done if you're claiming salvation. If you say that you're saved. When you walked in, you should have came in because you've been baptized. And you feel with the Holy Ghost. When you walked in the door, you should have been skipping. When you walked in the door, you should have been running. Like I can't 